But what's happening? Man, um, how do I start this interview? I mean, I've interviewed you a few times. First time on DTLR Radio, so um, let's go ahead and get it started. Memphis in the building. You did. Um, what are you doing down here in Rolling Loud, sir? Man, performing, taking over, you know what I'm saying, making an impact, drum squad records, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I put a lot of hits on the board for a lot of other artists. Yeah. Now we're just doing that for ourselves. Now uh, we're just doing that for our label. Can, can we get another versus with you, though? Or, or I can't you? wait. We was the first versus for real. It was you and um, Zaytoven. Zaytoven. BMI. You know, it's about it, 2016. It was at the BMI. I think, was this the first ever versus? It had to be. I was there. It had to be. I heard it was some few verses before that, you know what I'm saying, that other people did and whatnot. But, but I uh, want y'all on versus versus, like, you know. Oh, yeah, we need that. That's why I've been patiently waiting. You know what I'm saying? Me and Zay could have been done this, you know what I'm saying, on our own again. You know what I mean? But uh, shout out to BMI, you know what I'm saying? Catherine, Marche, uh, Byron Wright, the whole team who put that BMI showcase together, me versus Zaytoven. And, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's – the How many platinum – Records have you produced? It's it's you give uh, me an estimate. It's in the hundreds. Wow, that's crazy. So we got we got we got yeah, it's in the hundreds. When you are, how does someone get in the studio with Drummer Boy? Uh, I mean, like, cause now, cause you know, it's a it's a prestige now. So I'm pretty sure you're not. Are you pulling up for? It's, 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 really divine, it's divine alignment, man. It's, okay. it's, uh, it's being on the that's right team at the right place. Uh, at the right time, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm always on God's time, man. 11-11, heavy on that, you know what I'm saying? And just being at the right place at the right time. And uh, I'm, you know, very spiritual, you know what I mean? So a lot of things that happen, happen naturally or happen for you, uh, for those who help themselves or, you know what I'm saying, always, like the artists that I fuck with got their own movement, got their own hustle. They're able to do what they need to do. They just need vision. They just need direction. They need therapeutic energy from a producer to help them tell their story. So it's deeper than just making beats. I um, mean, let's talk about these artists that you have. Uh, two of them are here today, correct? Yes, sir. K Dog in the building. Big homie K Dog from Memphis and my dog Blue Money Sizzle. Where's uh, Blue Money Sizzle from? Blue Money from uh, the town, too. Okay. Just came home. You know what I'm saying? So, man, shout out to my dog Lionheart. Just came home. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm, I'm a pioneer of working with artists from the bottom. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I worked with Drake, it was from the bottom. When I worked with Rocco, you ain't know, you ain't know him. Dolph, you ain't know him. Gotti, you ain't know him. You know what I'm saying? So everybody I work with, I, I like to work with from the bottom. Uh, once once you get on and you on and popping, I'm I'm focused on who next coming out. The hood. So you like doing the artist development production side of... I love working from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I can like, agree with that. I don't chase people who own. I like that, I like too. to help people get on. Once you own... you. You good, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We we in the mud with it. So, Drum Squad, is this something that you, when did you create Drum Squad records? 2003, Deeper Roots Uniting Music. And now with Drum Squad, started off as a production company. And um, again, man, I put a lot of hits on the board. One of the first songs I did with Yo Gotti was That's What's Up. When you see me, shout it, pop your collar, then you holler, that's what's up. So I took over Memphis with that, you know what I mean? Uh, we did a couple other records, shout it for, for uh uh, Gotti, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then we did Shawty for Plies. Yeah, um, I put on for Jeezy. I'm going to do me, Rocco, Money to Blow. Get to shaking something because that's Keep what going. Drummer produced it for. I'm riding around. I'm getting it. Two chains. You just do you. I'm going to do me. me. Ooh, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no Love, August Alcina, Nicki Minaj. First record I did for August. Uh, Look at My Dad, one of the first records I did for Migos. Migos. I remember that. Uh, we popping. We popping. NBA Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, anybody who you put with me, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put a hit on the board. It don't matter. You know what I mean? So, um... Let's talk about these Air Force Ones you got on. You was telling me off camera. Ooh. Who made these Air Force Ones? This Man, shout out to my dog, Michael McCullough. We got the Molecule Air Force Ones with the swoosh Velcro. Molecule Air Force One with, with the, the, the swoosh Velcro Air swoosh. Change colors. I got red swooshes, yellow swooshes, black swooshes. So I could change the color of these depending on my outfit. You know what I mean? So I got the yellow swoosh on the other side. We got the turquoise swoosh on one side. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the peacock. Molecule paint, you feel me? So you know what I'm saying. It's just, Let's talk it's, about House of Fresh. You got your own yeah, store in Atlanta. Got the store in Atlanta. Pull Is up. it just one store? Or are we gonna open up. A we second got store? one, but we talk, man. We 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 got some franchising coming. So I was, stay the, I, was I was at the grand opening. Yeah. Oh yeah. You always, you know, what I'm saying in the building supporting, man. You know what I'm saying. 
So oh, do we have another store coming, some, coming oh, yeah. soon? I can't or? speak on the cities yet, okay, but the, okay. the, the franchises are in effect. I Memphis, might have spoke Memphis, too Memphis, soon, Memphis, but I socks, I socks no more than 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 you know. What I'm saying they know the real deal. So yeah, let's work on this because uh, you know what I'm saying like let's work on this I socks collaboration. We need a oh, drummer yeah. boy I socks collaboration. You oh guys yeah, are both. Yeah, I need my face on some socks, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I need some drummer boy, boy D boy. No, you fresh gotta have it with the little socks. bubble with the bubble. A uh, yeah boy. Let's talk yeah. about that. Ooh, I need some a uh, yeah boy socks and some drawers. Hey, I need 2%. with the a uh, yeah boy right here in the middle, right here across the front. Two percent of my. Yeah, Justin, where's Justin boy. at? Two percent, two percent. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. I'm cool with that shit. We now gonna, wait. With him in the picture, we gonna sell the shit out these moments. <laughs> the question. Que- <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some questions that I know people maybe want to know. You always do this salute, and then you always say a yeah boy. They let a yeah boy is the street call. The salute is the respect, which is crazy because I ended up doing a song for Whitney Houston called Salute. That, you know, R. Kelly put his name on, okay. which he really didn't do. That's really a beat by me. So if you go listen to You Ain't Missing Nothing, I got my name, my credit, my title, my plaque. It's the same fucking beat. You Ain't Missing Nothing, and then go listen to R. Kelly. He put his name on it. He called me, said, man, you got Whitney Houston single, and basically replayed my shit, put his name on it, because he ain't know what to do. He panicked. You know what I mean? But you look at how karma, karma's a motherfucker, bro. So, you know what I mean? Make sure you rep what you really do. Make sure you tell the truth and, and rep what you really do in real life. Because for a nigga to make two, three hundred million and be behind bars, it, it, you know what I mean? And you, mm. you know what I mean? And we on the way up consistently. You know what I mean? I don't wish incarceration on no man. But just just y'all do your hi- history and your research. Go listen to You Ain't Missing Nothing, T.I., on Paper Trail album, and then go listen to Whitney Houston, Salute. Okay. And you tell me. Make sure we get a clip. That's going viral. You feel Anyway, uh, how does someone like Drummer Boy, who has achieved so much success, um, nothing really can impress you? Maybe? Is it uh, hard to impress I'll be you? impressed. I just got my first number one billboard in reggae. You know what I mean? So, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Up. I did a record called Wi-Fi for Dexter Daps. Um, the album Vent that Dexter Apps released, the deluxe album, I got three songs on that. I'm on my way, Wi-Fi, and Scripture. Scripture I produced with, uh, uh, I made with um, DeVito okay. and Dexter Daps, you know what I'm saying, out of Africa and Jamaica, putting them two guys together. So it's 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 priceless feeling, man, you know what I mean? And the accolades and all that really don't do it for me. I'm more of a spiritual you know what I'm saying? I get happy when I see the crowd move, and I get happy when I see a sellout and pack out different venues and whatnot, especially on the Drum Squad Records. Facts. Okay, so let's talk about Drum Squad Records. What do we? What can we expect from Drum Squad Records 2022 and beyond? Oh, man, we killed the show this weekend. Are you looking for artists? Uh, I ain't never Are opposed to Are you looking for it. producers? It, whatever happens naturally and, and 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 that I've run across and you know if I fuck with you as a person the people who are on drum squad I fuck with them as a person outside of the music you know what I mean and it uh, just align you know what I mean as far as who they were as a person their character uh their demeanor they hustle you know what I mean and uh just the willingness to want to help yourself I help those that help themselves that's what I'm talking about now we, and we also have confirmation that you are willing to do the verses with Zaytoven again. Oh, yeah. On verses. Man, I can't wait. It's a big ass history lesson. Timberland, what's up? Timberland, what's up? Swiss, Swiss Beats, Beats, what's, what's up? up? Verses, what's happening? What I've been tagging. Do? All my fans been blowing verses up, you know what I mean? Because it's, a, it's would a lot be the of the first different. producers to do the verses on, on a greater verses. scale. On the greater scale, on because verses. Because Boy it's Wonder. Been and a lot yeah, of different, you know what I'm saying? A lot of producers right, that right, went, right. you know what I mean? But, uh, I'm talking about on the versus platform, it's oh, yeah. always an artist versus an artist, but we haven't had a producer. Not, not yet. Versus a producer. And not I, yet. It's only you two that come and to I, mind. And I've been asking who want it, really, for the past <laughs> two, three years. So, you know what I mean? Again, who want it? Let the fans say, who, who really going to be able to hold that stage down with me? You know what I mean? Who, it's hard. Who, I ain't, I ain't you know gonna what count. I mean? It's a lot of hidden gems and a lot of hidden records that you might not have known what's I a, did. What's a, so. record, what's a record someone may not know that you produced that took off? One of the biggest, Here I Am, Rick Ross. Live band. You know what I mean? And, you know, real music. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can play 
Live bass, live guitar, live drum, live piano. So you live can play all these instruments live. Come on, man. I mean, I know that I knew that, but I'm just yeah. asking for and, and, and more importantly, I can write the music. You know what I mean? So anybody can play it. I, I write music for bands. I write music for orchestras. I compose. So you know how to read them little notes, some little music oh, notes. Yeah. I come from the orchestra. That's difficult, bro. Y'all know how to read notes? Music theory, music like appreciation. Three lines up. You got to know what that note means. <laughs> yeah, man. G I took, sharp. I took piano yeah. for a little In bit. In the key of G. You I quit, though. So you know how to play piano. Oh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Come on, man. Difficult. You got it. So I think... I'm just going to be honest. I think it's two people on the planet that are very important, teachers and producers. You guys create a soundtrack to make people, to bring people together. And yeah. I believe teachers, you know, teach people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They teach people like I'm doing a program in Atlanta where we're giving a teacher $500 cash every Friday mm. just because they're, they're necessary. That's hard. Producers are necessary because you guys, without, without the beat, a rapper can't create. Without the beat, the rapper can't create. Without the insight, the rapper might not be able to see. Without the therapeutic energy, the rapper might not be able to understand how to look tell his Boy, story. He getting, he getting all the way in. Come on, keep going, You bro. feel me? So, you know what I mean? I I'm, see the 11 I'm, 11. Uh, yeah, I'm very therapeutic in pulling a story out of you. I was one of the only people who could work with Gucci when he was down here in Miami. You know what I mean? And going through, you know, just all kind of things. And, you know what I'm saying? The Mickey and the drink and this and that. And woo, woo, woo. I, like, Auntie Deborah tell you, everybody, the Walker. I was the only one who could get Gucci to, to work in the studio. He likes you, though. Like, he loved me. Facts. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? I yes. love him. You know what I'm saying? And, and man, Gucci, one of the only rappers that asked you what you want to eat before the studio session. What you going to eat, John? Hey, just give me what you get, drunk. Hey, come on, hey. We got to eat some. We can't be hungry in the studio. There's one thing about it, man. You have to eat before you do a studio session. Don't, don't ever go to a studio session hungry. You know what I mean? Because when we get to smoking and drinking and this and that, now your mind, you're thinking about something else. Your, your, half of your brain is thinking about, damn, I'm hungry. Stomach growling. Arr. You know what I mean? So that's, that's one thing we do is make sure we eat What's before arr? we get to the studio. Straight up. You don't want that. <laughs> man, you I really don't have no more questions, man. I'm I'm It's, it's the all, little things. It's always a good vibe whenever I whenever we link up, man. It's Come on, definitely man. Definitely dropping gems and everything, man. It's good Come vibes. On, uh Rolling Loud. What did you did you go out to the concert? Oh yeah, we performed. Uh Rolling Loud, we performed DJ Holiday, Hollapalooza stage, um K Dog, Shay Halan, Blue Money, uh Sizzle, and um myself. You know what I'm saying? Spark Dog in town too. From Colleen, Texas, one of my other artists from Drum Squad. So we've been moving. Then we did the, uh, From the Block stage last night. You know what I'm saying? You can check my story out at Drummer Boy Fresh. You know what I'm saying? Going Where did crazy. your name come from? Drummer Boy. Drummer Boy came did you play from drums? The, the little ornament on the Christmas tree. My grandmama gave me an ornament called wow. the little Drummer Boy since I was three. And I was hanging it on the, on the Christmas tree. And I ain't really realized what it was, but around 11, 12, uh, you know what I'm saying? One of my homeboys was like, man, you make beats. You, 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 you Doing your thing, woo, woo, let me hear some shit. You know what I'm saying? And everybody who I played beats for was like, man, your drum patterns, your drum patterns, your drum Here patterns. You like, Are you a drummer? Are you a drummer? And, you know, I played drums and fucked around a little bit. But my older brother in St. Wayne, R.I.P., he was like inside, inside a Wayne. real drummer. He played drums in the church. And um, I kind of just adapted the name. And people just gave me this shit like, nigga, your drums, stupid, drummer boy. Facts. And I put the, I took the ER off, put the A on, you know what I'm saying? Drum on. Yeah. yeah. You feel yeah. me? Appreciate you pulling up. Always good good vibes and a great interview. Drummer boy in the building. DTL already, your fashion, your lifestyle. Drummer boy, thank you, my brother. Already, man. Thank man. you. Come on, man. Shout out to DTLR. Shout out to Miami. Dope ass store. Uh, socks in the building. They got all these fresh ass yeah, clothes your, on you the your, wall, man. You got man. your bag. You got the socks already. Hey, man, I got some socks. We got to get some more bags, though, man. We got to see what else going we gonna, on we gonna, in we here. We're going to make man. that happen. Yeah. Uh. Hey, yeah.